Commissioning of your SunGrow 6 RS inverter. Open your iSolar Cloud app on your mobile phone. Select local access bottom left corner of the app. You scan the QR code of your Ynet device. And then you confirm the connection. It will ask you to log in. Username admin. The password is PW8888. And then you verify. And then once you log in into the inverter's Ynet, the first step you go to the network options. In this section, you want to link the Ynet device to the customer's router. And then in here, you will select the customer's corresponding network. For the purpose of, of our training, we'll connect to the SunGrow Service Center network. Once you select the network, you then input the password. And then you confirm the password. Then you get a password uh, successful prompt. And then from there, you initialize the device, the inverter that is. Configure the country code. In this case, we'll select South Africa. And then once we've done that, the system will auto-select the grid type as NRS. Just double-check that. And then the next option, you need to activate your feed-in limitation for zero export to the grid. Select zero kilowatts, feed in limitation ratio, you select to zero, and then you confirm. And select successful, and then you just wait for the values to update. And then the last option at the bottom, you just need to activate your backup mode. In here, you're actually activating the backup port of the inverter, the backup output, that is. And then once you've activated that, then you select settings. The settings now are going through into the inverter and then you get a green light that the inverter has been initialized and then you complete and now you go to the interface of the inverter and you will notice uh, the status of the inverter top left corner it says on standby that's normal during normal uh, first startup important thing to check top right corner Select where it says server connection status. This is to make sure that the inverter or the Ynet is linked to the correct uh, server for monitoring purposes. Click on the icon of the cloud. In there, you'll get the options of the server that you need to be on. By default, the system will be on custom and you just select international server. Select the server and then access successful. And then you can go through the settings of your inverter. Go to more. You go to settings. Energy management parameters. General parameters. In here, you have to select how you want your inverter to work. In this case, we'll set the inverter to compulsory mode. And we'll set a command. The command here, we want to charge the batteries. And then we set the maximum charge and discharge of the batteries, which is six kilowatts. And then you confirm. You go back. Go back. Inverter will go on standby. And then starting up. And at this point, you will hear the relays of the inverter engaging, initializing, checking all the conditions that are good, 
and then it will eventually go to a work mode whether on grid or backup mode in this case it's a force mode operation remember the command was that the inverter should charge the batteries Therefore, in this case, the inverter has been commissioned to work or to operate to charge up the batteries.